Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are well. It is November and oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just oh can't believe God. it. Yeah. Like where did October go? Oh my God. November is always like a busy month. I feel like for everyone because it's like leading up to the holidays mm -hmm. and there's always mm -hmm. lots of like gatherings and things like right. that. And you were just talking about how you have lots of things coming up in your life, right? I do, like lots yeah. of friend social gatherings. Yeah. My, my parents are visiting. Yeah. So much going on. So much going on. Um, it also happens to be Neil's birthday month. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, maybe he's like, doesn't want me to tell people this. But um, yeah, so it's going to be a big month for us too. And we have lots of fun things to look forward to. Um, this past week we had Halloween, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can probably see the remnants of Halloween in my oh, hair. Oh yes, I've got the like, remnants of Ashley's costume. Suddenly Ashley has pink hair. <laughs> yes. But you do always have like the best hairstyles. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to tell everyone what your costume was? Oh, well this year I was just like a, a witch. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a recycled costume that I have been using for the past seven years. So <laughs> it was, uh, it came in, came in handy again for me this year. That's amazing. You made this costume seven years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm still using it. You're still, still going using strong. it. Seven years ago, you were in high school. Yeah, crazy, mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my sewing projects have been going on for very. A long time. Yeah, that's true. And speaking of sewing projects, we actually had Ashley make us um, Jacob's little Halloween costume. We, um, I'm so happy about this. So cute. I'm so happy about this. Maybe some of you have already seen, but for Halloween, we thought it would be really adorable to make Jacob his very own yo. Seca apron since we always bring him to the store and put him to work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, he's useless. Um, <laughs> He doesn't do much at the store these days. But um, yeah, we just thought it'd be really cute to put him in a little Yoseka apron and Ashley made it down to every detail. I, I think one of my favorite things was the pocket, but I also liked like the back lining that you mm. put on it. Like that was a detail I wasn't expecting. <laughs> and then last minute, like as Neil and I were folding up the costume, we noticed that you put a label on it. <laughs> Like yeah, I put my logo. little my little <laughs> tag on there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that at first. So that was my highlight this past week, just seeing Jacob in his little Yoseka apron costume. And you know, it's not technically a costume, it's his uniform that he's gonna wear to work when he, yeah. when he takes his shifts at Yoseka. So you'll see him, and if you see him without his apron on, please um, let one of us know and so we'll give him that we a word of warning. Out of yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, warning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He looks but, so cute. Yeah, so, so we cute. had fun. We had fun this week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and thank you so much for making that costume of for him. Of course. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun making the little mini clothes. <laughs> it was the best. Um, what else happened this past week? What have we been uh, working on? Past week, we also had another big little, big little. Big Hobonichi update. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we added the rest of the Hobonichi planners back onto the website, so you yeah. can go ahead and pre-order them. They'll be shipping out around mid-November. We haven't received the planners yet, so anything that you're getting online will have to wait until they arrive here, and then we'll send them all out. That's right. So we originally weren't planning on doing pre-orders for this restock, but um, we decided to do it because I've been getting lots of questions about from all of you about like when our restock is coming and we figured, you know, why keep you all waiting? You guys can just get your orders in and just have like peace of mind about it and know that it's coming to you once your order is placed. So for anybody who has been looking forward to that, be sure to check out the website because you can get your cousins and you can get your weeks mm -hmm. now and mm -hmm. they will ship out to you as soon as they arrive. Yeah. And if you already, you know, send Daisy an email, you already have your items reserved, we have those set aside for you, so yes. not to worry. Not to worry, yeah, I was just talking to Deborah. About oh, no. I was like, don't worry, we have your stuff. Don't worry, don't yeah. worry. Um, so you guys are all set. Thank you so much for pre-ordering with us, and we will get your Hobonichi planners out to you as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, speaking of things that are coming up, November is here and obviously right around the corner from that is the holidays, the holiday season. And it's definitely beginning to feel a lot like the holiday season, mm -hmm. right? This past week we have received a lot of the Christmas, holiday, festive, mm -hmm. seasonal things. Um, so we will talk more about those as we're introducing everything in the new we added. Mm -hmm. So let's just go right into it, I guess. We have quite a bit on the table in front of us this week. Yeah, you can see like taking up part of the frame. Yeah, and, and you're touching those beautiful, lovely, like let's just start there because like they're so nice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed the beautiful leather yeah so these table. are the superior labor leather pouches in the large size and they come in these four colors it's black light brown dark brown and natural and i'll show everyone a little bit closer under the camera here so this is the superior labor pouch in large size and this is the natural color this is the dark brown color. This is the light brown color. And then here we have the black color. And these leather pouches are, I don't know, like a little bit smaller than like the size of your hand. And they have a gusseted bottom here. So they actually hold a lot of stuff in them. Um, they have, there's room for quite a bit in mm -hmm. here. These I'm really excited about. I love everything TSL, mm -hmm. and I think all of us this week have been like just drooling over these a little bit. But TSL is like, they're all handmade, so they're a little bit pricey, so you gotta think about it a little bit before mm -hmm. you just pull the trigger on these. But yeah, these are exciting. Uh, what else is new? We also have these new, I promise we'll get to the seasonal stuff soon. But oh, we right. Have... <laughs> Sorry, we're like, Christmas is here. And I'm like, <laughs> no mention whatsoever. Soon, soon. Yeah. <laughs> but we also have these new Mizushima Okonomi memo pads. Oh my God, they're which... so cute. They're so There are so many, many also to help you. Yes. Oh, I didn't even see this one before. This is, this is flip flops. This yeah. is like little house slippers. Anyway, so okay. Cute. What were you going to say about them? There's so many styles because the name Okonomi means preference in Japanese. Oh, so like you can those. choose one according to your preference. Oh. Like there should be a style in here for everybody. I love it. Right? And there indeed is, if not a few styles for everyone. At I least, like. at least one. Yeah. Here are some of the Okonomi uh, Mizushima little notepads. Oh, yeah. Wow, these are so cute. I love the fun colors. Ooh. Butterflies, rain. Rain, clouds, just like some shapes. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are like the tapes. The tapes they have, I've yeah. seen this design from them. Oh, this is so cute too. It's called necklace and those oh, are flip flops. These are the flip flops. Wow, okay, what else? There's even more. Even more than those, like done. some with the colorful paper. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Oh, I love this colorful paper. And more like storm clouds, I guess, and like little jewels. And you can tell there's also some oh. different formats yeah. in these. So if you like the gridded layout, there's a gridded, uh -huh. but there's also a lined one. Okay. So, oh, right, okay. So there's, so there's a like plain, grid, line, for however you like to write your little notes. Mm -hmm. And just each one just come come with that one style, I guess, yes. right? Got yeah. it. And there's 60 pages Quite a few in there, sheets. so yeah. you got a lot. And the paper texture is really nice on yeah. one side. It's like, smooth. And then on the other side, it's a little bit rough and textured, but I've been writing on it with fountain pens and it's like, it doesn't it, feather. It works well. I don't use like a broad or anything on yeah. it, but I've been using my Lamy, which tends to be pretty inky, and it's good. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. that's good to know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Well, these are super cute, so be sure to check them out. I think a lot of people have been ordering them already. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we also have um, these really cute Penco to go sacks, which. I think these are so much fun. They're supposed to be like the sack bag lunch. Oh, sack lunch? Well, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, yeah like sack a, lunch bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're modeled after like those um, craft paper 
bags. Brown bags. <laughs> but there's Velcro on them and you fold them down. And yeah, they're just supposed to be like little, I mean, you can store whatever in this and they're nice, like sort of water resistant material. So it, it's not a big deal if something in there is, you know, gets spilled or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It'll protect the rest of the contents in your bag. They fold up flat really, really easily too, like this. So you can easily store them in your bag and then use them to carry other things. Um, and they come in some really fun, bright colors. <laughs> and they're also gusseted, so they really hold quite a bit when filled up all the way. Nice. These are kind of nice. fun. So they come in, I mean, th there's more colors than this actually, but I just grabbed these three colors to show everyone mm -hmm. here. So these are very cute. Nice, um, nice. What else? This makes me like really want to like pack a sandwich for lunch or something. Yeah, like you a know? good PB&J. Yeah, a good PB&J and like a Capri Sun or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just brought back memories for me. <laughs> yeah. No. So moving on, uh, we also have really exciting mm. Pentel Hybrid Milky Gel Pens as well as Milky Brush Pens. So these are sort of a new edition of a classic Yoseka favorite that I think every single member here at Yoseka really, really loves, the Pentel Dual Hybrid Gel Pens, mm -hmm. Dual Metallic Gel Pens. So these are the Milky Pastel versions. So these are the gel pens and they come in and these seven colors here, I have the color guide. Ooh. Yeah, my favorite part about these is that you can write on the black paper and it still shows up with the color. Like the color still looks very vibrant. The color looks vibrant on both papers, right? which yeah. is special, I think. Uh, so these are 0.8 millimeters. So because they're so thick, I think that really allows the color to show mm -hmm. up really, really well. On these test papers here. Um, so we have these, and then we also have these milky brush versions. So these are the brush versions here, and for these, they come with these really nice bristle brushes, um, which are very soft, you can see, um, and they're like a real brush, it's not a felt tip. And what you're supposed to do is pump the color out over here as you're writing with it, and then brush, brush, brush. So these are a lot of fun. Um, I don't have the color swatches here, but it's actually very similar to these colors. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty much the nice. same. I love these. Yeah. Uh, you'll be seeing us write our notes with these for sure. For sure. For we, sure. we love writing our notes with the other gel versions, the, mm -hmm. the metallic gel mm -hmm. versions. Okay, so we have finally reached these last few newly added, which are the holiday items that we Seasonal talked up. Yeah. Items. Yeah. <laughs> we talked them up like 20 minutes ago and you all have fallen asleep since then, but we're finally talking about them. Sorry for the delay. Okay, so you were about to reach for these, Ashley. Yes. Yeah. Because these are so cute. There are new charms. Yeah. From Travelers. From Travelers. Although you might recognize the bears again from last year. Yeah. The bears are a classic, like Traveler's, uh, what would that be called? Like character mascot, I guess? Yeah, kind of. yeah. Um, and so there's the mama bear and the baby bear. This year it's the papa bear, actually. <gasps> papa bear! Yeah, yeah. Papa bear and baby bear. Yeah. And the brass bear as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. so, so these are the leather tags. This is the papa bear and the baby bear. And then I think they said that this is the baby bear here on the brass charm. I really am happy that Travelers decided to make the brass charm version. Mm -hmm. I think brass and Travelers notebooks, like that leather, just looks so good it together. So, well. yeah. so people have been going crazy for these already. And I can see why. They're just so cute. Yeah, so, so good so for cute. the winter season also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, Gives the cozy vibes. The cozy vibes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And then there are also new pewter charms as well. So we have new pewter charms in a train design and a trunk design. So these are pewter charms as opposed to like the brass charms that we typically see from travelers. And this is like in addition to, they have like a coffee bean one. Yeah, like an airplane. A mug, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. they, and they have really cute ones for these. So the, these two introduced are new. Um, okay, 
So what else is special for the holidays? We also have these new Bonday sticker roll tapes. Yes. And they're in like these fun little star designs or like snow globe designs. I remember last year there were some like cookies, cookie designs, I think. Oh, but that wasn't a holiday. It wasn't one, a holiday. Was it? Yeah, but that's what the, these stars remind me of. Oh my gosh! Like yeah. star shortbread cookies. Um, but yeah, we love so cute bondes. So, if anyone doesn't know what bondé stickers are, they come on a roll like washi tape, but instead of being a continuous roll of tape, you actually can peel off the individual stickers like that. Um, and it's they're really fun because each roll comes with lots of designs. So each time you get it, it's like a little, it's like a little surprise mm -hmm. of what you get. And we have lots of designs of Bondi stickers, but these are special for the holidays. Mm -hmm. This one is the present one. This is really cute snow globes. And then there are more stars. So yeah, these would be fun to like decorate, decorate wrapped Gifts, presents with yeah. and like cards mm -hmm. and things like definitely, that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we always have fun with these every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? What, what else is else? very holiday? This is probably the most holiday uh, edition that we have this week. It is the new Tea Time collection Ooh. from Sailor. Ooh. And maybe you can give a closer look at these beautiful pens. They're so I really pretty. Like them both. Yeah. Okay, so everyone, this one is the Christmas Pudding Pro Gear Slim, which has a dark brown barrel and then transparent dark green with glitter detail in the cap. And then there's this nutmeg light brown grip section. So that is the Christmas Pudding. Oh, and then this is my favorite part actually, this little pop of red in the finial. Mm -hmm. I love how That's it brings that. Nice yeah, detail. and they look, the finials look really good together, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, so that is a look at the finials together and the colors of the two pen together. So this one is the Christmas Pudding Pro Gear Slim, and this one is the Christmas Spice Tea Pro Gear, which is completely transparent. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the cap and the barrel are different, slightly different shades of orange. And then we have that same like nutmeg light brown that we saw in the section of the other pen on the finial of this pen. So these are the two Christmas tea. Oh my God, the names like are really throwing me off. I did an unboxing of these earlier this week and I kept like stumbling over the names because I was saying Christmas so much. Christmas. Christmas. Christmas um, tea, Christmas pudding. Yeah. Oh my God. But those are really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Which which one do you like better? I like the Christmas spice actually. Um, yeah, Christmas me too. <laughs> I, I like the, the gradient. Yeah. The, the gradient effect by the mm -hmm. two different colors I mm -hmm. think is really, really smart. And I like how it matches their time ink. Yes, so with this release, Sailor also released the Christmas tea ink uh, with this really adorable illustration of Christmas pudding and Christmas spice tea. And this is what the bottle looks like. Last year they did a coffee ink and this year they're doing a Christmas tea ink and the label always has a homey looking like border around it. That's really cute. And I did a little swatch of what the colors look like and this is what the ink color looks like. So for anyone who's curious about that. So I think that's about it for the newly added this week. Ashley, do you have a favorite? Ooh, there's so many like holiday items. I know. It's like hard to choose. I feel like I like a lot of the holiday items, but I'm like not quite ready yet. My brain is not there. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna have to choose the Mizushima memo pads, the mm. Okonomi memo pads. Yeah. Because I just really like the kind of printed yeah. design. Like if you look really closely on these, you can see they purposefully made the register of the ink printing just a little bit off 
right like the they colors. almost look like stamp imprints yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so i think that detail is like so cute and it adds such Aww. like charm and character to these little memo pads point. i didn't even realize that's what added so much charm to these they look mm -hmm. imperfect yes exactly yeah. exactly yeah. perfectly yeah. imperfect yes <laughs> yeah. so I love that i like those thank so you you've probably seen if you've been getting notes from me. I've been writing them on this. You I have. Like you've been using these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get so many per per pack. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. quite. It's quite a good value. <laughs> yes. Do um, you have a favorite? Yeah. I think there are lots of good things to choose from. If I had to pick my favorite, it would probably have to be mm -hmm. these leather pouches from TSL. I have to say that we have, TSL is a new brand for us this year, mm -hmm. um, and I have been eyeing things from them, but I haven't made the plunge yet to get one of them. Me too, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's just so easy because we're surrounded by stationery all the time that, you know, we really have to have a very discriminatory eye on like what we really want. Um, and I really need a new pen case. So I am thinking about these. Um, I have gr outgrown mine, and every time I open my backpack and take my pen case out, a pen just comes flying out. <laughs> and I can't have that because I have expensive pens and they're like not available anymore. So, um, you know, I'm thinking about one of these, but this is also large so then like you know if i have a larger pen case then i have to get a larger backpack right. <laughs> it's like a never ending thing it's just like a, yeah. yeah but i think they're beautiful and this this is my favorite color this is my favorite color it too. is yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah so there's a light brown and a dark brown and i like the light brown mm -hmm. one it looks really good i don't look so good mm -hmm. oh, okay <laughs> all right well that is my pick of the week. Wonderful. Yeah. I think it's a good one. Yeah. I also have my eye on it. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I think there's we still have some left. So. Enough to go around. Enough to go around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that is about it for our newly added stationery from this past week. Other than just being busy uh, working on adding all of these new stationery and having anxiety about the holidays, <laughs> we have been spending time in the storefront and seeing some great customers meeting people in store. How was your week in the store? My week was good. I actually got to talking to this one customer who we were just like, you know, having a really good conversation about like different pens and whatnot. And then all of a sudden he was like, oh, do you do you like stickers? And I was like, oh yeah, duh, obviously. And then he whips out his own like sticker sheet of stickers oh. for his blog. Oh, and wow. I was like, oh, thank you so much. And it says, I heart gray ink So on he it. has a blog on fountain pens? What is his blog I on? I have to admit, I still have to check it out. Oh. I have not had the, the chance, but I thought it was so funny that it says I heart gray ink because I really like gray ink and brown ink mm -hmm. and I was saying that I like them because it's like dark enough to be like almost black ink and you can write it all the time with it. Yeah. But it's special, you know? Hmm. It's like... It's different. It's just slightly yeah. different, you yeah. know? Yeah, 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 So yeah. I was yeah. like, thank you very much. And then I gave him some of our Yoseka stickers. Oh, So we did a little exchange. sticker swap. Yeah. Cute. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, thanks for visiting us in the store. Mm-hmm. I didn't catch your name. Is this website? Yes. Okay. Ashley says it stands for minimal. <laughs> so, thanks so much. Yay. I didn't catch your name. Cool. But thanks for visiting us. If, if yeah, if you ever come back, I'll swap more stickers with you for sure. Yeah, we have a lot of stickers to swap. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yay! Do you have uh, anyone that you talk to this week? Yes. So I actually spent some time in the store, and I happened to talk to somebody who two people. I found out that two people um, mentioned that it was their birthday. Oh my god! And as part of celebrating their birthday, they decided to come to Yoseka. Oh. And wow. for one of the people I was talking to, 
she said that she actually did the same thing last year. So it's like a tradition of hers that every year on her birthday, she comes to Yoseka. And um, she obviously watched all of our videos because she really knew, she like knew me better than me. Um, <laughs> and she knew you really well too. And yeah, it was just, it was really wonderful to spend some time with her. And she tried out a lot of the um, like the special sailor Naginata nibs and things like that and it was just fun to chat and she had a beautiful swatch going of all of these blue and purple inks that she ended up getting lots of samples for so happy birthday to you thank you for coming to the store and spending your birthday with us it really really means a lot that you would do that thank mm -hmm. you that's so special yeah I also want to give a shout out to Alicia Adventure Denali she oh has my gosh, yeah. Yeah, you, Alicia has a YouTube channel for anyone who is uh, not familiar but like loves fountain pens and stationery and enjoys watching calming sort of vlog type things. Um, I highly recommend checking out Adventure Denali. Um, mm -hmm. She, I love watching her videos. I love her vibe. I love her mm -hmm. energy. I didn't get to meet Alicia. She was in the store and Christine was there. So Christine got to meet her and Christine said the best things about her. She's so sweet. Alicia, thank you for coming on your short trip to New York. I hope you had a wonderful time and hopefully I'll get to catch you the next time you're in New York, but thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have gotten to meet you too. <laughs> I know. She's like, she's like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is, that's my, that's my picks for customer friend of the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is about it. Cool. For this week. Yay. Oh, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the other side of a cozy cup of whatever hot beverage of your choice Ooh. in the upcoming holiday season. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.